Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 4. Also, we're going to be talking a little bit to do with Crisis as well, as I've been trying to do most videos, because, you know, there's so much Crisis news right now that I have to put it in, basically, in every video. So it's kind of crazy, but it's really cool, and I love talking about it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, the first thing we're going to talk about before we get into the trailer breakdown for the new episode of The Flash next week is Stephen Amell posted this. So he just wrapped on his last day filming with Grant ever. Well, for now, you know, Stephen still has the possibility to return sometime in the future. He just won't have his own show, basically. And so this is what Stephen said. So... Just wrapped on my last day filming with Grant, or working with Grant. I've learned so much from him over the past seven years. Always felt like Barry brought the best out of Oliver. If Arrow lit the spark, Flash fanned the flame. Also, I fell asleep during our last scene. Thank you, Mr. Gustin. So, that's kind of crazy. And this really took me off guard when I saw it yesterday. Because, yeah, it really hasn't hit me yet that Steven's not going to be around, he's not going to be the Green Arrow, he's not going to be in these crossovers and everything like that. When the Flash, Supergirl, Batwoman, Legends, when they all continue on, Arrow's not going to be there. Obviously, they're setting up the new Arrow show, the Green Arrow and the Canaries, and I'm really excited for that. Still, Steven is not going to do this, and it's his last scene, last day working with Grant, and... I think it's really fitting that he fell asleep, and for all of you guys who are OGs, you would know that most people, most of the actors, specifically Melissa, but always on the crossover, they always fall asleep, and Steven has always never done that, but finally he's done that, and it's very fitting, it's the last one. It's very funny if you sort of follow the actors and understand their inside jokes, and so yeah. We're not going to see much more of The Flash and Arrow together. This crossover is going to be our last one, so, you know, treasure it whilst we still got it. Okay, so now let's move on to talk about the trailer for The Flash, Season 6, Episode 4. Last episode, Episode 3, how we left it, we had Harrison Wells. He supposedly found what he was looking for. And also we had blood work, fully becoming blood work. He sort of found a way to control that blood by incorporating dark matter and infusing it with blood. And that's a way for him to save himself because, you know, it heals cells, it heals anything, it becomes something else, essentially. And so that's what ended the episode. Also, to do with Crisis, Barry told the team that he is set to die. Okay, so we start off the first shot of the trailer, continuing basically from what was set up last episode, with Killer Frost, or now Frost, teaming up with Barry as the Flash. I love this team up, I love the fact that they had so much screen time together last episode because... Caitlyn, obviously, is my favourite character after The Flash, I've said that many times, but so is Killer Frost, like, I love Killer Frost as well, even though I still prefer Caitlyn a little bit, I love Killer Frost, and I love them teaming up because they are two of my favourite characters, so we got The Flash, we got Frost, they're in some sort of hospital, some sort of, you know, workplace, but it does seem like a hospital, and you see this next shot, it's behind them, and you can see bodies and everything scattered all over the place, so shit has gone haywire. And we move on to the next shot, and we got this random scientist, someone that Ramsey actually knows. He scares him, that being Ramsey scares him. And then we go on to another shot, and this is him. They obviously are acquaintances of sorts. And so we get another shot, it's closer in, and essentially he is there to kill him. He's there to do human trials, essentially. I'm pretty sure that's what he means. And so, basically, the dialogue that he speaks in the trailer is, To live, I have to kill. They have to be afraid. And so, this is obviously linked to the idea of blood work. And, you know, he has to control his victims. And it seems like they have to be inanimate. They have to be actually deceased for him to do that. And you can see in the next shot with Barry and Caitlin or for us running through the hallway at sort of a canted angle, you know, creating fear. You go on to the next shot, you see this sort of body, but it's actually a zombie. It's like the guy last episode, it's inanimate and it's brought back to life, it's animated back to life. So the body is moving and that's because blood work has been there. 
and we move on to this shot. We got Killer Frost. She's in the hallway by herself. Don't know where Barry is. But one of these zombies essentially has risen and is now going to go for Killer Frost. That's what it seems like. And so Barry in the trailer says, doesn't something feel off? And this is something to do with obviously what happens to do with blood work this episode. Maybe it's something off to do with, you know, Ramsey himself, or it could just be the stuff that's happening there. But yeah, so we move on to the next shot. We got this shot right here, some sort of ice. Maybe this is Killer Frost, but however, there is a hand behind it. There is, it seems like there's a few people behind, so I'm really, really not sure as to what's happening in this specific shot. But if we move on past this, we're back in the hospital, it's all fucked up, like, it's really, really messy. Someone gets flung off the bed, it seems like it's a patient, and then we see Ramsey, and it's a close-up, and then we cut, and it's him, actually, with sort of clotted up eyes. His eyes are black, they are filled with darkness, essentially, and so this is similar to what we saw in the trailer, or in episode one, when he first got the stuff, but that was just in the trailer, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so moving on, we are in the hospital, you can see some photos behind, obviously this is some sort of child's ward it seems like, or maybe it's an adult who has like a picture of a child, right, but it seems like maybe it's in the child's ward of the hospital, and we got Barry in the flash suit, he's there, he's, you know, in the middle of a fight it looks like, and we got Killer Frost, this trailer is kind of quick cut, so it's kind of hard to see what specifically is going on, but it seems like Killer Frost is sort of snooping around to the hospital. We go back to Ramsey's lab. It seems like this may be an after effect of what he has been taken, essentially, because, you know, it is taking control of his system. And, you know, with the dark matter infusing with his blood, he's going to be healed, but he's going to be mutated. He's going to be changed. And so you'll see the side effects, I'm sure, in this episode. We get this shot of Barry screaming, and he is screaming, I think, maybe no. Like, he's going, no! I'm not specifically sure, but this is really quick cut, like I said, so it's kind of hard to tell. But this could be him seeing maybe blood work or one of these zombies attack Killer Frost. What happens if they're about to kill Killer Frost? And Barry seems really intense. So we got this shot of Killer Frost. It seems like she's fully into it. So that's why I'm suggesting maybe she is like very close to death at one point in this episode and Barry's screaming. But yeah, so you see her. She's still in there. And moving on to blood work, you can see his veins are sort of black and they are sort of charging up essentially. And he grabs his hand. It's in a fist and he shoves it out. And it seems like this is when he's using his powers when because you see the blood you know his dark blood coming up from his veins it seems like he is shooting his hand out like we saw at the end of episode one so that's curious and now moving on because this is the Halloween episode my birthday just saying yeah pretty cool like I, I don't really care about Halloween to be honest but they're doing a Halloween episode and we've got all of Team Flash, they're all there, you've got decorations and stuff, and Ralph is like, happy Halloween guys, you know, because this is, you know, zombies coming back to life, this is the perfect Halloween thing, right? So, he's obviously making a joke, and it's kind of funny. So, yeah, just before we end this video, I just want to say, please be sure to check out the live stream I did yesterday, because I stayed up very, very late to do this. I was there on Eric's Reloaded's channel. It was great fun. The title of the stream is Pagey vs. the DC TV Show. And you can guess why. Because we disagree about quite a few things. And we have some great battles in the stream. So we talk about Batwoman this week. We talk about Supergirl. About Arrow and The Flash. Because I've seen Arrow. My Arrow review should be coming out sometime tomorrow. But we talked about it on Eric's live stream. And you guys can go check that out now because that's on there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, share this video around, subscribe, and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.